Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Twitchy and we are playing on my public server here on the shores of Lake Pizzazz, the lake that all the admins have inhabited. We've got misaligned over here, we've got Mad Frank. I say all the admins, forest is way off, way off in the distance, but that is cool. I suppose decipher as well off in the distance. Uh, today I want to take us down into my abandoned military base. You can tell it's abandoned because I've not finished the uh, the porchway yet. I need to get around to doing that. But inside here we have a pit and down the middle of the pit we have the middle of my base. This is actually a lift that will move all up and down, but it's a lot easier just to jump and aim for the slime box. Over this way we have my storage. I really need to shear those back at some point. But we're not going in there. Today we're coming through my equipment room, which in and of itself could be a whole episode to get this up and running the way I want to. But let me take you through to my corridor of collections. That's right. In here we have all the things that I have deemed to be rare and collected uh, like in a group. So over here we have the banners. Over there we've got music and goat horns. Things that I need to put in later. Uh, we're going to have an everything book over there and the collection of heads from the more heads uh, data pack. But today I want to focus on the banners. In here there is a collection of six different banners. Two of which I actually have the pattern for. Here you can see the thing banner pattern and here we have the flower charge banner pattern. These two are relatively easy to make. You put a piece of paper and a flower to get that one and a piece of paper and a notch apple to get that one. Very um, intensive on the resources but not too difficult. Over here though we've got some ones that we need to go and work on. The skull and crossbones ba banner pattern. The glow banner pattern. So this one is got from put using a wither skull. Need to go and farm ourselves some ske uh, wither skeletons. And over here this one is sold by a top level cartographer that's gonna take some work I don't have a low level cartographer let alone a top level cartographer over here the snout pattern found in the bastions we're gonna have to go on a bit of a nether explore and then finally over here the creeper face we need to get a charged creeper and blow up another creeper with it so that we can then make that pattern so it's so a, a day full of uh, exploration and some wonderful use of game mechanics i think i've got a channeling trident that will enable me to make the charged creeper the others are just going to be a bit of a grind but first let's go and see something else that i've been working on down through here this was going to be originally a little villager holding area but no not anymore it is the entrance to a new farm uh, you might be able to tell from the banner lights are on in the background that means the farm is ready. Let's drop down here. That's right, I've made myself a nether war farm. Uh, it's mostly built off of minecarts and we've got a little alarm system in the background here. You can see that's where the lights turn on. This is for the for the lift. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> this back here though is what I wish to show you. I'm going to climb up this little bit of green wall over here and we will talk about all the different sections that are going on. If I take my uh, my hoe here and bust through this wall, you can see that the nether wall in front of us is being observed by an observer. Boom. Uh, every time the nether wall grows or anything happens out there, whether it's grown, whether the player breaks the nether wall or whether a player places a nether wall, this observer, tri no sorry, the, the the observer underneath this nether warp block over here will power this jack-o-lantern which will then power the dropper if you put if you put the dropper straight back to here the, the observer straight into the dropper it would power both of the droppers uh, because it would actually turn this 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 dropper into a power source which then does the next one to it so if it was to do this middle one it would actually power the two one side to it so you need you need to have a block in between nether what has three growth stages uh if we if we have a look at this and then use my mouse to show you over here in the corner target block nether war age three so three growth stages so you put down it's zero one two three fire three bows across into this hopper that is locked by this torch down here okay when those bows get put into the hopper here this comparator reads out how many bows we have uh bow one comes out to here bow two comes out to here bow three just touches this target block here underneath the signal there's a li little bit of a pass back using comparators to pass the signal strength down but that's not the important bit once we reach to signal strength number three the important bit is this multi multi vote system i'm gonna go with multi vote system i'm not i'm not sure exactly what i want to call it but by the time the signal strength for the bow makes its way all the way out to the end here again looking in the corner you can see that the power strength is one so if i use a comparator to pull that power strength off and then 
a whole bunch of comparators in the subtract mode. You can tell the yellow there. I've got a signal strength of 15 coming out of, out of this torch, and it will be passed along, and every time that one of these has grown all the way out, we will take one off the number. So 14, 13, 12, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there are 19 in a row here. So four circuits can go wrong because thing, things go wrong with redstone. Four, uh, four circuits can go wrong and we will still end up getting a signal out here. If there aren't enough turning it off, there will be a signal being passed through. You can see the signal stops here. Uh, if I was, however, to break a bunch of these, okay, let's let's do that. Uh, so there's, there's some that haven't grown, if you will. That's what we're simulating here. Uh, there's not enough to turn the signal off, and this torch turns off. When we do have enough to turn this on, uh, let, let's see if we can watch. Watch the torch in the background there. When we have four left, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's put this one in. Next one should turn turn that to Oh no, it was this one that turned. It was a bit of a lag from the thing. Okay, so that, that's good. The torch turns on. That torch then turns the light on in the storage area, telling me that I need to come and harvest. Of course, harvesting done at the front end. I get my hoe out. I sta sit inside my um, minecart here, look at the floor, and just, just dig away. Uh, hopefully, we're going fast enough that we never end up actually breaking any of the soul sand. You can see the observers registering the breaks in the background there. We'll go and talk about what's happened when that when that goes through. But we're going to go through and just, just harvest all these. There is enough for four stacks of rows. They're, 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 each row here is a half stack long, uh, and there's enough to be able to plant four stacks of nether what we're going to pick up much much more than that uh, but I, I will I will show you when we've done the end of the loop we're just going to go back and forth here I have finely tuned the number of powered rails on this system to make sure that we're not going too fast but also not going too slow there we go all right great just as we're about to run out we managed to speed up I was a little bit worried that this might be too fast a little bit worried that it might be too fast but it turns out it's good enough I was also worried about those end nether warts that maybe there'd be a situation where I don't quite reach them with my hoe but it turns out fine why am i using the hoe it's got fortune on it of course that is why we're using it so if i if i jump off here uh, i'm gonna normally i would then get in the minecart and replant but i'm just no no we, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna do that i was gonna pick up the, the nether warts but it doesn't matter I, I i can still show the uh the ver versatility like this the thing i wanted to show you is now that we have harvested one more bow has been passed across to the hopper here so we got four and it brings the signal strength out to this the machine does nothing at this point it, I just wanted to show you that, that it is ready to go. So when the when we plant next, one more bow will be passed across, putting the signal strength high enough to reach this uh, repeater here. Then we've got this weird situation. Here's a comparator. There's a comparator. They're feeding back into each other to make what's called a fade clock. This basically just turns off the torch for a amount of time. I don't know how long it is, but it is just about long enough to pass all five bows back into the dropper and reset it. I wish there was a way of being able to see both at the same time, but I'll show you the planting now. Uh, just, just right click. We are, of course, going around picking up all of the nether wart that was placed down, that was uh, dropped on the rails by our par last passing. Oh, I did not quite have the uh, the right setup for the end bits there. So it turns out the, the placement is much more picky than the breaking. I, I suppose the nether wart has a much larger, larger hitbox than the top of the soul sand, so I understand that. Hmm, I've tested this so many times and of course when I'm recording is the time that it doesn't actually work properly and flawlessly. I I, I, I don't understand. I don't, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll come back and, and change this at some point. I want some good food to eat. Thank you very much. So off of that one harvest, I've got, I mean, look at, look at all this nether wart. That is over that's 10 stacks, 10, 10, and, uh, 10 stacks, and might as well call it 11. That was pretty cool. But what I really wanted to show you is there's no signal strength in the system anymore. Indeed, if I run up here and have a look, ooh, look, this one has already grown a little bit. Okay, that's, that's cool, that's cool. So we should be able to see. So most of this without bows okay all of these you can see are off this one's on that one down the bottom there is on which should mean if i take this nether wart block out here and look over the side uh, we've got age one as opposed to the one to the side of it which is age zero okay that that's great that's amazing oh showed you the full system there uh, it's, it's not it's not quite the full system the full system is then showing you that the lights are off that that's kind of important there do you like the banner i kind of like the banner uh, we could put one more layer on there 
I'm not sure if we need anything else. I, I would really like to make the soul sand a bit more bitty, but that, that that's fine. Uh, I, I took a look online and uh, saw what uh, what nether warp banners were out there. Shockingly few. Shockingly few. I, th I found five. I took the ideas that I liked from some of them and ignored the others. Stingray111 YouTube was the guy that I took most of the inspiration from, but as you can see, it's, quite, it's also quite a bit different. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I did it myself, but I also drew some inspirations we are now going to go fly our way off to the nether because of course for us to get a wither skeleton skull we, we need to go to the nether fortress now i happen to know where several nether fortry are uh, and i am going to fly out this way i should really put a helmet on it's not really the helmet for the nether if i'm to be honest am i wearing gold i'm not even wearing gold okay this is going to be good good day sir uh, I didn't mean to actually punch you with a bucket. No, come back here. Ah, I want to get you with the looting sword. Okay, did that. No! <laughs> Life is harsh. <laughs> Anyway, any, any, anyway, as I was trying to say, I do know where a bunch of nether fortress are. Here's one just over here. Now, we've got ourselves a bit of a crossroads. That's pretty tasty. Uh, you saw the blaze border there. So I'm just, I'm not going to mess with that end. You know, I'm just not going to mess with that end. Do we have anything? Is, is it just this? Is is the whole fortress just this? I wasn't the one who came... I, I say that. I could very well have been the one that came through. Why is my schematic placement just kind of up in the corner now? I don't even have a stick on me. What? Okay, is this going to get rid of it? Can we can we scroll through just, just like that? And then, yeah, okay, cool. That That's good. That was the uh, schematic mod. Uh, that's... Huh. Annoying when that little little bugs like that happen. We are of course not using the official version because in uh, 1.19 uh, I can't remember the name of the guy who is updating the mods, but he was like, you know what? I'm just going to completely overhaul the entire code base, and everyone's like, yeah, cool, cool, no worries. But of course, everybody also needs to to get get some big builds built and transferred from like creative worlds over uh, and so there are people out there who have gone ahead and made a community port of the of the mod so that that's that's pretty nice but it it definitely does have its bugs okay i'm hoping i mean look how much look how many crossroads we've got here one two three four like we could we could probably open this up into something approaching an actual decent wither spawner uh, wither skeleton spawner here I, i'm sure i'm almost certain someone out there has done better in the past but you know we're just we're just gonna roll with it ah we got we we got some contestants already ah, no 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 <laughs> run away <laughs> all right it's just one we can take it down that's that's no problem uh no not so far <laughs> Let's let's go see there. Put put some blocks up. We can we can go see. Hello, hello. I literally just around the corner from where I was digging out. I was like, oh, let's go look around here and see what's what's going on. Ooh, that's rare. That's nice. Let's try not to update that. Um, I bet I bet he is going to though. Ah, oh, does stop it? Don't. We got we got to keep the mythical fly floating lava block. Don't don't do it. I have, I literally have no idea how we're going to keep that alive. Hmm. Okay, so we need to put down torches here because everything that spawns here is not spawning in my in my little spawning. I like, like look at these guys. What what light level? Let's press this and then turn this on. What light level do these guys spawn in at? Like above above ten? <laughs> I think it might even be worse than that. I think I think they might spawning at like any light level. Uh, let, let's let's try this. I've gone around and I've taken out because the thing I know I know that they spawn over here on this little walkway, and the the thing about that is look at all the torches. Look at all the torches. The reason that I know they spawn on here is because they kill me quite often. A lot, well, they don't they don't kill me, but they do cause me some hassle quite often. This is the path to the witch farm. Yeah, look, look, look at them. Look at them. They're not spawning here. Let's go and see what the conditions are down there. See if it's anything different. Doesn't look like it. There's not quite as many torches, but the, yeah, that, that this guy right on top of a torch. What was this? Every skeleton is a possibility. No. <laughs> look at, look at this. This makes me sick. Where, where's your rider? What's going on? You spawned in on one mob cap, and now you're taking up another one. Disgusting. Not sure whether I should, but I think I'm going to fill in this space here. The reason I'm not sure whether I should is because I don't know what will spawn there. Hello. 
Are you doing okay? Can we put some, like, torches under the... I don't want to drop in on top of him, because that's going to cause me some troubles. Let's fly in over this way instead. Are you going to come up here? Yeah, okay, we've got separation. That's nice. That's nice. Any any skulls? No skulls. No skulls. No. Oh, oh, he got me. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm actually more worried about this place. It's a party of withers. Yeah. Aha! Yes, there we go. I only took about 15 minutes. Okay, super scary, the spooky, scary skeletons is the word that I'm trying to say there. If I was uh, trying to farm up a full wither, we would totally just stay around here. I would turn this into a full farm. Like uh, you can, you can see we maybe would like glass this area off here, uh, put some slabs down in all these gaps, and then just use these as big old spawning areas for all the skeletons, and then we can hide down this way a little bit. Be a nice 25 blocks away from everything and then use iron golems to pull them around and make them come and rushing towards me I think I think that would be the way forward I definitely want to open up the eye lines here even if I'm not gonna make it spawning platform I want to be able to see through uh, there, there are little awkward bits like where I've put this little sissy bar across here uh, why, why, why do I still need this in 2022 because I still gear withered yes <laughs> And so, with prize in hand and a whole bunch of other stuff in my inventory, we can wander on down towards my corridor of collections. Let's turn that mini HUD off. I don't, I don't need all that extra stuff in the top left-hand corner of my screen anymore. So, back over here. Which one was the skull and crossbones? I believe it was this one, this side. Yes, indeed. I'm just going to get this little bit of paper. We're going to come up here, and I'm going to put these two together like so. We get ourselves the banner pattern. Beautiful. I'm going to take this and... Uh, I'm going to throw... Oh, man, I've got a lot of bones out of that. that. That's the glory of a looting sword when harvesting for uh, some skulls. I need this as well. Thank you very much. We're going to go up and use this loom in the background here. What are these? What are those? And, of course, the banner pattern gives us... Oh, what... What we've been working for. Oh, yes, I uh, love it. Let's get rid of that. Let's put that back up there. Put this inside, of course with with a white banner ha huh. and and glory glory at the new banner beautiful I love this. It might look a little bit out of place amongst all the other village houses around here, but this is my first pass at a sci-fi village head. You can, uh, house. Sorry, you can kind of see this. This has been taken from kind of these shapes over here. If you think back to the original churches from the original villages, I think this takes that shape. And then we kind of put a little modern aesthetic on the side here. This is obviously for my cartographer, cartographer table, and a bed over here. I have checked in a creative world that they will use this. That's great. But whilst I look, the 
preparing food. Oh, isn't that beautiful? But whilst I was building, I had this bed laid down over here and something miraculous happened. Something happened that I didn't think would ever happen. You might notice that I'm walking up in the other direction from what I normally do when I'm in this village. He's not here. Where's he gone? Hello. Look at look at this little guy. Hey, how you doing there, buddy? Oh, you don't like the fact that I left the door open. All right. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I, w I will leave the door. So I don't know what he's going to become. Is this is this going to be an unemployed guy? Like there's... Ooh. We'll, we'll, we'll leave them there. I can't can't be stealing a bunch of stuff off of the villagers now, can I? What I'd really like him to do is become like a leather worker or something like that. Maybe we'll go around and put a cauldron up at some point. We do have a workstation over here for a weaponsmith. I think a weaponsmith for, for, for that. Okay. Um, but before... Before I get on with, like, trying to get a cartographer in there and leveling him up, I, I've noticed something all the way over in this direction. Do you guys see the pillager outpost over there? I don't have a shield on me, so this could be a little bit awkward. But look, look at these two little bases over here. Or look at this base over here. First off, I'm going to let this guy out. I think this is a, a very worthy use of time. Are you going to gonna actually go out and protect... Doesn't look like he wants to... There, there, we, there we go. All right, okay. Now, now he's going to go around and cause a bunch of hassles and troubles. And I'm going to come in here and go, Hello there. How are you, new people? I'm going to have one of you... Where'd the other one go? Has he run away already? He, come here. One of you as well. All right, I just I just wanted to do that. Should we go and have a look and see what's inside the, uh, the actual pillager outpost here? Look, he's going to come around the corner. And this guy is going to be like, Surprise! No? The, ah, oh, there we go. Surprise. All right, great. That, let's go see if there's anything interesting in the outpost itself. It's getting a little bit dark. I do apologize for that. It wasn't my intention to be here when it was dark, but, you know, I keep talking while it's all well lit. Look at the way the LA glows. Okay, what, what's in here? Boom. N nothing. Okay, I mean, like, it's not... It's not nothing, but it's not anything for me to get excited about. I was kind of hoping for a goat horn, if I was to be honest with you. Kind of hoping for a goat horn. So we need to overhaul each of these houses. I, I don't know many sci-fi villager house designs. This one I kind of came up with on the fly, can you tell? Um, so if you guys have any sci-fi village designs, let me know. I'd like to... Oh, there's a new baby as well! Are you going to try and get under that? I'm a little bit afraid of this, actually. I that's, that's not how you get into bed, mate. There's a lot of slabs here. Oh, I didn't finish the slabs off that might be why uh, there's a lot of slabs here so these guys feel like they can get through the underside when that is not the case you need to go up the stairs and maybe just maybe we can push him up that way though I have just noticed there is no way to actually get him out of the water uh, 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 go, go 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 did we do it we, did we do it did we do it I mean kind of all right bye then <laughs> is this it is it go away please you're scaring my villagers Okay, let, let's see if this happens. Are you going to go and wander on in? Okay, this is good. This is good. Go and get into your bed, little one. Beautiful. All right, we have a cartographer. That's exactly what I was after. I mean, we got we got to wait for this guy to grow up, become a cartographer. Where am I, LA? I got to cheat. I threw down a fence to try and get these guys to come towards me. And uh, you've got a friend in me. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Now I just need to get out of here without killing myself or these guys. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not sure if he knows how to leave the bed. <laughs> it's a shame these guys aren't like animals. You can't right-click on them to feed them up at all. That, that, that is a real shame. I think this church slash chapel will be the building that I want to sci fi -fi next. sci fi -fi, yeah, that's totally the phrase I was going for. But we now have two new children in the village. I'm going to wait for this guy to grow up and become a cartographer, and I will bring you back next time when we actually got the full top level trade because I unfortunately have run out of time for today's episode and I will see you guys then when we're gonna do that bye